Are flavoured waters good for you? That is the subject of today's Food for Thought. My name is Jodie Bunting and today we're going to be talking about these. <laughs> these are flavoured waters and they're very, very popular. Um, you can see just on my videos, I've made a couple of videos about these Dumbo ones and also about my favourite which is apple and cucumber. So, the best thing to do, first of all, let's look at a, so from a world view, from a big view, if you look at these compared to Coca-Cola um, versus uh, pure fruit juice, nutrition wise, as in bad nutrition wise, it is better, okay? So it is better, it's not perfect, <laughs> uh, but it is better. The best thing to do with these sorts of things is just have a little look at the ingredients. And obviously the things that we want to avoid are fructose, sugar, and anything with a O's because obviously that is a form of sugar. Um, so, if at the moment you're drinking Diet Coke or anything, you know, really super sugarated or very, very sweet, whether it be natural or artificial sweeteners, um, then going onto a flavoured water is definitely improving your health. However, if you're living in a <laughs> nutritional perfection, then no, flavoured water is not good for you because if you have a look at the ingredients, you'll see in there, there's preservatives, there is citric acid, there's loads of like bad stuff in there. So this is where you have to look at your lifestyle. Is this going to improve your weight loss and is it going to improve your health at the moment from the situation you're in. And for 98% of the population, yes, this is going to improve your health. Um, as I said, those chemicals in these waters which make it taste so great are not good for our body, and especially when you're drinking a lot of this stuff. So if you were gonna drink four one litre bottles of these per day, then I definitely wouldn't recommend that because obviously you are getting all those toxins into your body. And over time, you will find it harder to lose weight because you are having so many toxins in your body. Um, but as I said, if your, your, your nutrition is not that great at the moment, going on something like this will be very, very good. As I've said previously, one of my favorite is this apple and cucumber because again it hasn't it's not too sweet a lot of the like this one this raspberry and apple from Aldi is really really sweet and you actually get like a a little bit of a, a sweet kick as if you are drinking full sugar coca-cola even though inside you it's not doing it it's just a mental kick um, and as I said this one is just a little bit less of a kick and it hasn't got that sweetness in there um, so please share your tips guys I know some of you water these down as well especially the still ones um, I know a lot of you give uh, your children the still ones and they really really like them but again for very young children it can be too much um, remember when I showed you this one uh, last week this is the grapefruit water I got the other version the other day when I went in Pound World uh, this is the dum dum vitamin water and this one is um, what did it say oh yeah mixed berry so this is the mixed berry one yes Sally oh apple and cucumber it's amazing <laughs> from uh, all the co-op stores around the place. And again, even, so this one's called Vitamin Water, and you can see here it's biotin, B6, Nicaram, B12. But if you look at the ingredients list, the ingredients list goes on forever. Um, so again, you do need to be careful. Um, Kirsty, those waters are horrendous things. I just add a slice of lime and lemon. And yes, absolutely. I agree, Kirsty. Um, if, you, if your level of health is at that level and you are into perfection, then having real mineral water with some fresh fruit is by far much, much better. Um, but as, a, as we said earlier, we are uh, trying to help people that are maybe nutrition is not so great and this is definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, things with alcohol, basically with drinks, the darker the drink, the more toxins it's got inside. So obviously, uh, so for instance, if you were drinking alcohol, if you had rum, 
versus vodka. Uh, vodka is less likely to give you a hangover the next day because it's got less toxins in and that's just something visibly you can see when it comes to uh, liquids and obviously that means water. Pure water is fantastic. Helen, can you make flavoured water in a soup maker? Well, I guess you could make flavoured water, but it wouldn't look like water if you put it in the soup maker and added some fresh fruit. Um, Sally, I'm drinking mineral water and fresh lemon every day. It's lovely. Yes, absolutely. Um, and a lot of people find it really, really refreshing. If you can try and add this to your daily routine, the first thing you drink in the morning is water with lemon. Not only does it feel refreshed, but also it's great for your body. Again, a really good start. Um, let me just go back through the other questions that are on the screen. Hi Chris, hi Helen, hi Joan, hi Rachel, hi Kirsty, hi Alan, hi Adrian, hi Amy, Bob, Nikki, Stephen, Andrea, Salian, Najiri, Michelle, Ian, Kay, Denise and Dawn. Welcome and thank you for joining us today. Welcome Neil to the live video. Thank you for joining us today guys. As I said we're talking about water and it's all about one step at a time. Does this fit into your lifestyle. Amy is saying you sound really posh. Yes, I do try and stop saying hey up my duck <laughs> when we're broadcasting live. In my classes I come out with all sorts of stuff. Right guys, bye for now. Have a great Thursday evening and we're back live from DW no, from JD in Derby uh, with a live workout in the morning. Bye bye for now.